Hi, I'm Lars from Fusion Entertainment, and in this installment of Tech Tips, we're going to be looking at the controls and settings of the MSDA51600. That's Fusion's 5 channel Class D amplifier. So let's have a look at the controls. Okay, so the controls for the 51600. Now the low pass filter passes all the frequencies below the selected point on the filter through to the connected subwoofer or speakers. And the high pass filter passes everything above the selected point through to the speakers. We've got your front channels, which have a low pass, full range and high pass setting. Um, the rear has the same. Then just your frequency adjustment pot and your level adjustment. For the subwoofer, we've got two settings here, sub or front rear. Now that's used to derive a sub signal from a full range signal if you don't have a sub line out from your head unit. So it simply takes it from the front and rear channels. Same thing again, you've got a level setting and a low pass setting. Also you've got a bass boost and a subsonic filter as well. So let's have a look at the connections. So we've got a four ohm subwoofer and two pair of speakers connected. Now the first thing to adjust is the level. So to do level matching, simply wind the head unit to about three quarters volume, set your bass and treble responses flat, and wind the amplifier up to about three quarters or until you get to the desired level where it's not clipping or distorted. Now, the filter settings you have available are high pass, full range, and low pass. We've selected full range because we're using large speakers. Now, it's the same setup for the rear channel as the front if you're running speakers. When you get to the subwoofer, I've selected the sub input because I've got a direct RCA line out from the head unit for the subwoofer. Um, same thing with the level matching. Subs, you know, a little bit more subjective depending on how loud you want your subwoofer to be. Uh, low filter frequency, always observe what the head unit can supply. With Fusion head units we have four different uh, filter frequency settings for the subwoofer. 55, 85, 120, and 160. Now you've also got a subsonic filter. Now that prevents low frequencies that basically isn't music content, it's just noise and that gets to the woofer and if it's in a ported box it can make it a little unstable and start over excursioning and cause damage. So you generally want that around 20-30 hertz sort of anything that's not audible but comes through as just noise. Um, bass boost, be very careful with bass boost. Um, a lot of people overdrive bass boost and that can damage subwoofers um, so you've got to be a little bit careful with that one. And also ensure that you've got your sub input and your speaker inputs and the correct RCA inputs. Now tuning the amplifier is very subjective and there's a lot of factors involved like the size of your speakers, the environment whether it's a small closed cabin or an open cabin um, and the type of music you prefer to listen to. So it's a bit of trial and error and you've just got to step through the setup slowly. So subwoofer would be first, low pass setting on the subwoofer. Um, generally between 80 and 120 hertz is a, a general guide. Some people like it lower for a, a deep bass sound. You've just got to set them so they complement each other and each speaker is sent the frequency that it's designed to reproduce. It's only what well, it's more important when you're running a sub and two pair of speakers within a listening area. So that's the sub. Um, if we're running 7.7 .7 signature series on two channels, I'd set them full range. And if we're running the six and a halves, we would set them at high pass. And generally you want them anywhere from 65 hertz and over to be passed through to those speakers to get the nice crisp highs out of the system. At the end of the day, it's what sounds good to you and you just have to play with it until you get that sound. Um, turning the filter frequency up on high pass until the bass is removed is the ideal um, situation you want to be in. So that's a general guide to the 5 channel MSDA 51600. Thanks for watching this installment of Tech Tips and make sure you tune into the next one. Uh, if you've got any questions or queries go to our website or you can contact me at lance at fusionentertainment.com.